We don't know who this guy is, ladies and gentlemen. What's up, brother? How you doing? I'm good, man. I'm good. I had a weird couple of days, but it's been okay for the most part. Can't complain. How about yourself, brother? I'm good, man. I can't complain. I turned 69 three days ago, and I'm still breathing. And oh, I'm... Good. Yeah, I thank you, and I'm doing pretty cool, so I ain't got no complaints. Amen, brother. I got one I just wrote about a half hour ago. I and, go for it. And it and it's called uh plea uh people play dead. People play dead in front of God. It's their excuse for being human. It's the truth they can't abide. And uh, all of their possessions they cannot leave behind. All of their failures and successes they acquired in this bump and grind and the sovereignty they worship in their own minds. Wow. Wow. That's an awesome piece, brother. Thank you so Thank much, you. man, for sharing that. Thank you. Thank well, you. Happy belated birthday. People are saying happy belated birthday to you. So thank you. Thank you a lot. I appreciate it. No doubt. No doubt. So if, yeah. if anything, uh, we'll, maybe we'll see each other again later, brother. All right. That sounds good. You take care, brother. God right, bless. You God bless All you, right. man. All right. All right. All right. Yo, <laughs> I'll tell you, I love that guy. That guy, man. All right, who's next? All right, this guy's next. All right, guys, there's a 10 second delay when I, you know, people request and then they jump in. So be ready. Yeah, what's going on, what's brother? Up, brother? First Chill, time. Bro. Chill, how are you? I'm good, man. I've had a weird couple of days, but we good. We good, man. We here. Everybody's good, man. So how about yourself? I'm glad you you, you uh, you're here today, right? Right now in the now. It's good to see you, man. I um, yeah, man. I saw your I saw it last week, the open mic, and I just hopped in. I, and her words told me about it tonight. So shout out to her for like you know shooting the love in the community. I mean that's all it's all, it's about. You know what I mean? Amen, amen, brother. No, thank yeah. you for joining me, man. It's the first time for you, man. Yo, I'm happy to see you finally. I've seen you do the stuff during the day, man. The the, the show before the show, man. I love that. <laughs> Uh, the pre-show before the show but... yeah. <laughs> oh my god like, yeah you're finally here man such an yeah. honor to have you here man yeah i appreciate you having the platform and anybody that is in the community that's allowing the community to thrive you'll find me there you know what i mean amen amen brother that's good Absolutely. Shout out to my, shout out to my, my family right here coming in, in the, the, the chat <laughs> i'm good i wrote um All right um, and also, thank you for doing what you're doing, man. Like, I know, you, I don't know when was the last time you did it before last week, but like, thank you for, you know, consistently doing it. I think that's the, the beauty of life. Like, the more consistent you are with anything, especially when you're in your greatness, man, it just makes waves. You know, you're the ocean right now. You feel me? Uh, amen, brother. I received that. Thank you so much. But that is a plan eventually. Um, this is my second one as far as the community page doing this. Um, I did it one time before when this page originally was my personal page and then I converted this into a community page. So this is my second one. So last week was this one. Um, only because there was things that happened within like the team that, you know, I like, you know, there was some unfortunate circumstances. I said, guys, take a break and I'll just do some open mics and stuff. But I am planning to do one where like, uh, I haven't picked the day yet and time, but I'm planning to do one where every week I can start doing this every week and people can pop in and, you know, get more exposure to those who are not able to get exposure and stuff like that. So that's that's the plan eventually. Absolutely. And the cool thing about it, well, thank you for sharing that as well. 
um the cool thing about that is like you know the the community is always going to be here whenever you're ready or not ready and i found i think that's so beautiful because sometimes like i got shit going on you feel me like and then like yeah. but if the community's arms are always open that's a beautiful thing right man yeah <laughs> awesome so thank you so i'm gonna drop some poetry we i can talk to you for days right. so. <laughs> <laughs> I can talk about is that a Lion King blanket behind you? I love that shit. Oh um, yeah, no, uh, oh the, yeah, no. I got this in the baby shower when my um before my son was born. So um, this is what my wife, you know, like when he's rocking him to sleep and stuff like that. My wife, like you know, she has this. It is comfortable. I, so I just love the Lion King. That's I had to say something. I'm like I always remember. No, I love Lion King. Bro, oh, yeah. Lion King. Remember. Bro, I cry <laughs> Lion King, man. Hundred <laughs> percent. Oh wait, yeah, you real, you're a real one. <laughs> yeah. All right, let me let me do this both. <laughs> um, I wrote so I'm also part of Foundations Poetry, and like we're into okay. like laying the foundations in our community and being open and doing prompts and stuff, but more personalized, right? So we do a, a live every day by all the remarkable people that we have at Foundations Poetry. But uh, the prompt that just passed was um, sidewalks. So I wrote this on Sunday. Okay. And... Hey, Leona. I walked a lot as a child, sometimes side by side with people or just with the hard, cold concrete, where the truth of being alone hits deep. Every step moved forward, fell back towards that empty road by the corner store. Between all the cracks, I didn't want to step on, fearing to break my mother's heart if I didn't follow her instructions, reluctant is why I started running a lot. As a son, trying not to meet my horizons, my dreams, dodging my sidewalk so she wouldn't find out about my main street. Stoop kid from Hey Arno, I always loved going in deep. The deeper I go inwards, the farther I feel from my dreams, separating the two like when you said we were one and then there was peace. Then you got hungry and ordered a three piece and didn't even ask if I wanted any sides before I asked for your hand and now it's just high and by. The deeper I go inwards, the farther I feel from my dreams, separating the group like in every scary movie, separating the crew on the cruise like too many Coronas, now I'm salty, liming and lying six feet under away from you. The deeper I go inwards, the farther I feel from my dreams. I used to call her my dream. I used to call to her in my dreams. I would search for her in between every pause in the places where the universe would breathe. Astral project myself, I would meet you where nothing exists so we could spend eternity staring blankly, lost in the stars gazing you back to me. The deeper I go inwards, the closer I feel to me. Cementing the concrete, I paved alongside all the sidewalks that roam free. So I could finally play in the streets like a composer writing a harmony. Wow. Wow. Bro, what inspired that piece, man? I felt that right now. Oh, yeah. man. My heart be beating, though, right now. Yeah. Um, Yo. yeah. So sidewalks. <laughs> so like uh, oh. I see the I see the world a lot in like metaphors and stuff so it's just like yeah you could give me like a, the topic is blanket and I'll find a way to make it about the universe <laughs> do you know what I mean wow. like that makes sense yeah. wow Whew. yeah wow Th brother thank you so much for <laughs> man, absolutely yo. thank you for listening I Woo, really yo it. my my heart is beeping right now because I felt it I was like oh damn I meant it you know what I mean it came from a place a certain wow place. amazing yeah. piece man yo thank you so I, much for popping in man yo thank you so much for having me and uh to all the people that uh, the person that performed before re remarkable with the harmonica and everybody moving forward too thank you so yeah, much yeah yeah no doubt all right, God bless <laughs> you, brother. you too man take it easy all right man oh that was incredible wow all right let's keep it going Woo! all right who's next oh wait what happened i know andy was in here and then all right, he'll probably come back. All right. All right. All right. Let's see who's next. And is my wife checking up on me, creeping up on me and stuff? Hey, God bless you. God bless you, man. How are you? Hey, man. How are you doing? 
good. I'm good. I'm good, man. Just taking it day by day. How about yourself, man? Yeah, man. You know, it's, you know what it is. Like, take it, take it one step at a time, and, and just get from one side of this lockdown to the other. Amen. Amen. Um, I've got a, I've got a piece for you, which is um something uh, I wrote quite a while ago. Um, it's sort of about how I see the world is just a little bit warped, and maybe we're looking at things from behind or the wrong side of the mirror. That's that's sort of what it's about. All right, good, sounds good. The problem is the philosophy of there's plenty more fish in the sea. You think fishing is free? There's free as dumb. It's not freedom. We divide to the last crumb, hoping the summer quakes using nothing to fill plates. The state leaves lives in states, and these are high stakes. Using lives to gamble as we amble through the shambles, played from different angles. The angles, the hook, the line, reel them in, baited with sin. Temptation, the waters reached a new level of stagnation. Pollution, we're dead, we're choking. No solution, we're wet, we're soaking. How many will be left floating? It ain't sane to play this same game, so instead we play an insane blame game, as if you can float on a scapegoat. But the water's soap won't halt unless we take our part in the fault. But no one likes to admit they're wrong, and committing to hope takes too long. Without all the facts, you can't assess, react, and act. It's our lack of determination and admiration which will lead to the damnation of every sunken nation. So wherein lies the salvation? Try and imagine your reaction. What will you be thinking as you're sinking, gasping for the last breath before plunging to your depth? Will it be the fact that you paid your tax, or if immigration was lax? They use latent education for misdirect her misdirection. Treat global warming like it's not a warning. Trips are on the table and I am all in. Whatever the cards are, I'm ready to call it. It's a generational lapse in concentration, a sensational grasp of predestination. Maybe this is how we were bound to go, in suffering painfully slow, while the elite few guide this human race to the finish line, competing in a competition with all mankind, accompanied by the mantra of no man gets left behind. We live in a three-dimensional world with two-dimensional people. How can we not see through these lies which are blatantly deceitful? Wow. wow. Thanks, man. Yo. I, wow, wow, <laughs> wow. thank you, Dude, thank you so much. I should just throw my notebook and retire for the rest of my life. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I should retire whoa. poetry now, bro, nah, wow, that was amazing. Bro, thank you so much, thank you so much. Wow, bro, oh my, that's fire, bro, holy thank you. shit, man. Thank that, you so wow. much, thank you so much. Yo, thank um, you for coming on, man, thank you so no, much. No, thank bro. you. Thank you so much. No, thank you very much for having me. I'm I'm still quite I'm still quite new to to sharing it all. I've only been really sharing my work since the beginning of lockdown. So so it I, I don't know. It is new to me, and I'm I'm only in the last maybe like two weeks where I started trying to do lives and the open mics and stuff. And I've had such a good response from it, and the community is so good, and people are so lovely. And I just I really like hearing people react to my work, and it, it's something I've been writing for years. But it's just really nice to share it with people. No, absolutely, absolutely. And you know, that, that's the way it should be, brother. And you know, again, like, thank you for coming on. And um, again, welcome to the community, bro. And I hope you do a lot of more of these, man, because this is, this is awesome, man. That was, wow. Thank man, you so much. Man. Thank you so much. You just, you just going in. Like, that's it, man. No holds barred, man. I love y'all. Thank you so thank much. You so much. Thank you so much, man. You have a great night. I'll, I'll carry on tuning in. Thank you. All right. God bless you, brother. Wow. Yo, he... Woo! Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Wait. Ho hold up. Wait. I need to. Woo! Okay. We drink my water, my gallon of water. <laughs> oh my God. So he goes by. Uh, where was he? He was just here. Page of a sage. So it's page underscore of underscore a underscore sage. Check him out. He's new. All right, um, next person. All right, there's a 10 second delay. Yeah, I, um, Penny Giannos. Yes, I have to catch my breath. Oh, snap. Hi, Ro. Mr. Surrealist Poetry's in the house. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, brother? Oh, my God. Yeah, this is the. Uh... Woo! Yeah, that's the post, post that just came in here, man. Wow. I'm the rule. I was just saying, dude, I might as well retire now, bro. That's awesome. <laughs> How you doing, bro? I was not a good man. I was not able to to listen to him because I'm I'm at my um uh my father in law's house. 
that. So was he pretty good? Uh, Lord, that's not even the word. That's like marvelous. Like it was like, oh my God, like let me retire. Let's say I'm done. Like, oh, fire, man. Wait, bro. Hello? Okay, I don't know what happened. Okay, I have no idea what happened, guys. Iro. All right. Um, I I don't know what happened, but okay. Um, I don't know. We got cut off. Um, Hyro, if you're here, um, I guess just just request again. I don't know what happened. All right. Right now, I don't have anybody. Oh, okay. He's here again. Let me see. Robin Lioras. All right. I gotta see. I don't know what happened, guys. Yeah, bro, I'm having a hard time connecting Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, but see, you're a little um, but uh, all right, talk to you, man. Okay, so let's do this. So I'm actually going to do a do a short one in English and a short one in Spanish, okay? Okay. Oh okay, okay. All right, let's okay. do this. Okay, so I just have to, I don't have anything to read, so I'm just going to freestyle just a poem out of, uh, out of the top of my head and see how that goes, okay? Right. okay. So if I, if I close my eyes, don't be weirded out. I'm just thinking. <laughs> okay, All right. So the sage of a thousand years can spoil the sun with its bright and tremendously big and massive thunderous age. I don't know what happened. He keeps freezing. Okay. Come. I don't know what happened. He keeps. I don't know. He keeps on freezing. Um. Again, he'll eventually come back. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna get the next person in. Um. Hi, Ro. If you're still on here, bro. Um. When you get the chance, just request it. You keep cutting off, man. Ah, uh, so yeah, yeah. Uh-oh, it's gonna get dangerous now. All right, let's do this. We can, all right. Oi. All right, finally good to meet you, brother. Welcome. Good man. Oh, man, I've only just woken up. It's 9.30 here. Oh man, okay, okay. 9.30 in the morning. I wrote this one last night, I posted it today, so. Okay. I'll give it a crack. All right, let's do it. No name for it. No name for it. So, hidden away from happy Babylon, do we now chuckle restlessness at a damned up river? Trapped by time, careening erratically in a whirlpool vortex, spinning in place. Aggressively undermining shores, eating through the banks, a spreading flood, drowning life and land. A stagnated corpse, thoughts bloat under a desolation sun. Whiles away this rainbow chronosphere, oh so lovingly neat. A succubus seductively devouring of everything that is life, and still trapped, spinning in place. We lost all scruples, marbles, this whirlpool of water strife. Now vision's tunnel is light, glaring in desperate views, twitch in the eye. Glimpses madness. Shit, 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 shit. Manic now. Desperate ring into the hands. This justice is aftermath waiting on our embrace. Simplicity now isolate. Wow. wow, that's a mic drop. But you know what? Okay, that's it. I officially retire. I'm retiring poetry. Holy shit. Wow. You don't need to wow. reply, mate. Without you, we don't have a platform. Yeah. Yo, I'm speechless right now. Holy shit. Wow. Brother, Good. thank you Good for sharing that with me, man. Woo. Wow. All right, I'm from the show. I'm getting off, man. <laughs> Yo, bro, thank you for... Thank you, brother. 
thank you so much, man, for mm -hmm. popping in here and sharing that piece, man. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right, God bless you. Man. All right. Wow. Yo, okay. Wow. Whoo. Yo, you know what? Wow. Wow. I gotta catch my breath because that dude, every time he reads, man, I love the way he did that shit, 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 shit. And then he just back to the mellow, back to the, all right, let's keep reading this. And it's like, yo, you felt that. Holy shit, man. All right. Oh. All right, we're gonna try one more time with High Row. See what happens. Wow. Man, you can get cut off, man. You in the battery right, or so something? Let's... I think so. I think so, to be honest. I think so. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah I hear you fine. As of right now, I hear you. Okay, so let's do a, let's do a really fast one. The age of heaven is undenying. The age of our hands is only beginning. To build a thing is to build a dream. And we sing on and we fight on because we are meant to, not because we have to. But the broken heaven can only spill its blood for what it is. We are what we say we are, humanly impossible. The wow. end. Wow. So what, that, you, you, you just freestyled that just now? Yeah, I just freestyled it. Oh. Yeah. All right, so we're cut. I'm cutting out. So I'm. Can yeah, you hear I, me? Yeah, I'm having. You're pixelating a lot. No, I'm sorry, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm having a hard time hearing you. Good. That's it. So, good. Thank you for having me. All right, brother. All right, man. God bless you, man. Bless you. All right. All right. All right. That. I don't know. That was. I mean, I was able to hear most of what he said. Um, yeah, I believe he said this was a freestyle. I believe that's what he said. All right, all right, let's do this. Uh, let's see. Remember, 10 second delay. All right. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. It's even getting crazier and crazier right now. Uh, how are you? Oh, hi. Oh God, I didn't realize I was on. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> how are you? Oh my God, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, this live has actually been really good so far. Yes. It's, it's great to I mean, I've got it up twice, but yeah, this, wow. Oh, my God. I'm so bugged out from the guy before me. Um, He, he goes by the name of Andy also, and yeah. uh, I've seen him read, I've seen him do lives before, and I've seen him read poetry before, and man, that dude, oh, my God, like. Yeah. And so, and then Byron jumps in, he reads his piece, but then he kept getting cut off. But it's like my mind is still with Andy and I'm just like, oh my God, Whew. Oh my God. So how are you? Smiling, and then he cut off and I was like, no. Oh. Yeah, I know. I guess where he's at, his connection is not that great where he's at, I believe. Yeah, I can't imagine freestyling. I like, I'll obsess over a poem for like months, you know, <laughs> I'll yes. change it, I'll change it back. That's my style. I'm the same way too. Trust me, I'm with you on that. <laughs> I try to free stuff, but that's that's not easy. I can't do oh, that. No, not my thing. <laughs> okay. Um, I just have a short one to read today. This is a okay. new one. It got featured recently, so I'm quite happy about it. Oh, nice, oh nice. I actually I I saw that in my inbox today. I got featured on this big page. I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. Nice, nice. <laughs> First time. Anyway, um, this is it. All right. Okay. Love blind. I like to touch the textured imperfection of your face. An open book to be read with my fingertips. Until I am lost in it again. The white scars on your chest, across your heart, rise like pale mountain ridges in relief. Landmarks on your skin. Map that leads me home. Wow. Wow, I love that. <laughs> Thanks. Wow. Thank you. What what inspired that that piece? Oh, um, well that one was for oh I wrote that a while ago for my ex. 
he um I was with him for a couple years. Um, he has these scars on his chest from just really bad acne and really painful treatments. Um, okay. He was he was really self conscious about them, but um, I don't I don't I didn't even notice them after a while, you know. Right, right. And do you, do you know the kind of way where like somebody has something that they feel super self conscious about, but like you you wouldn't change it because it's them, you know? Yeah. Uh yeah it's kind of like that so okay okay no but it was good i like i like that so much thank you for sharing that with me thanks yeah thanks for having me again no doubt anytime I, again er everyone's always welcome here you're always welcome here yeah. thank you so much for sharing that thank you so much all right talk soon all right bye-bye bye -bye. yo that was wow all right let's do this all right, guys, you're going to have a 10 second delay and then you'll be up. So, all right, let's do this. Just keep little quest coming in. Hey, how are you? Hey, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Um, taking it day by day, you know, especially with this craziness happening. So it's just ridiculous. But hey, one day at a time. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, so I am also, Chris read earlier his Sidewalks one for the Foundations Poetry Prompt. And I'm also part of the Foundations Poetry community. So I'm going to read my sidewalks prompt. Oh, sounds good. Um, <clears throat> okay. Another step forward, another step headed towards dented gates of heaven or the spotless door to hell. I know the route my feet are pushing for on the sidewalk of life. They know it far too well. I know where I'm trying to go, but I have more failures than victories to tell. I keep trying to paint this image about how this walk made me into a shell turn my whole being against myself nothing else matters when i'm stuck in a head that feels like a cell i'm sorry i'm not okay i'm sorry i have no style to i have no smile to sell no i'm not talking today yes i'm aware that's not the best no i'm not just a dumb teen trying to rebel i was doing better the demons aren't here to compel they don't sit and convince me they just do it themselves leaving me jagged don't touch me please no no i didn't mean to yell you're scaring me. Please stop. There's too much in a mind, too much filling up the space. So many things I'm too tired to retell. Leave me alone, please. You're causing the pain to swell. Oh, you need the happy me? Just ring the bell over in the lobby of the I'm only alive for you hotel because there you can push me past my limits, but I'm not allowed to feel unwell allowed to fall i'm sorry i fell i swear i don't mean to my mind just isn't well i'm so sick of apologizing so sick of being able to foretell when you'll finally give up on me like everyone else i mean i can't really blame you i'm trying not to give up on myself on the sidewalk of my short life i've been trying to walk without help i'm all over the place too little to say too much to tell i'm trying to turn towards heaven but i'm my very own hell wow Wow. You know, it's funny. I felt every word you said in that piece. I, I know what that's like. Wow. Thank you Thanks for, for having that me. Piece. No, thank you for coming. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, I, I don't know what to say because it's like every one of you guys have been coming here is just, oh, my God. And it just gets crazier and crazier and crazier. Right now, I'm stunned right now because I'm like, wow. Thank you so thank much. You for so much. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you. Can't wait thank to watch you. the rest. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. All right. Who, yo, what is going on here? I, yeah, page of a sage. Yes, I can't even either. Holy shit. Yeah, Robin, I, oh my God. Wow. All right, I mean, oh my God. All right, let's do this. Yes, yes, we're dropping the heat. All right, who's next? Let's do this. All right. Let's keep on. Keep this coming. Hey, John Grazer, if you're there, brother, you have to jump on here. People are missing out on you. Ah. Hey, how are you? Hi. Woo. I'm like, my heart's like this right now because every poem that every poet has popped on here so far. Oh my gosh. But. Like these are family. Um <laughs> I'm part, I'm Katie. I'm part of the foundations too. I'm okay. Thank you. Thank you for coming in. All right. I got the foundations crew here. Yep. We're here. 
So uh, this is called, there's a ghost in my house. Sorry, I'm holding my phone and my iPad at the same time. Okay. All good, all good. Hey, you're doing it wrong. Nothing wrong with that. All right, here we go. There's a ghost in my house. A spectating wraith is hung on the door of my mind like a wreath, masked as something beautiful that you should never enter. They say Adam came from Eve like our love story made to deceive. It will never be worshipped. It will never be told. An age-old tale of darkness will be familiar. However, it slithers still in my soul. An Ouroboros that became a tale of feasting on the death of a life, only to be resurrected to dine on my skin, my heart sucking down my soul. With each turn, round, round, round we go. Cycles, slithering lies. So you could give yourself peace of mind that no one would judge, no one would know that you fed me until there was no, no choice left than to shed the skin to grow. I became the serpent, dangling the apple for a bite, a snow white. My poison, your ignorance of the solo climatic mess I created to be the villain now by choice. The fake evil for your tale to the fake evil for your tale to share, so you can snare the minds in the next chapter. Villain I embodied to escape the fear of the danger in your anger. Villains never win except when the disguise of lies a plot twist to the story. The ghost doesn't reside inside the door anymore. An exorcism of a villain inside of a villain that hangs outside my door. Like the sage that burns slowly when you are near. I see you, unlike anyone else, all too clear. Yet most will never meet a ghost, nor believe in something they can't see. Don't bother wiping your feet at my door. You're not welcome here. I don't recycle myself anymore. Go to the light so you can bask in a narcissistic piece of ash. Okay, I can you read that line again with the serpent? Can you read that again? Because that really put my attention. At um at the very beginning? Or like no, with the, when you became the serpent? Okay. Cycles slithering lies so you could give yourself peace of mind that no one would judge, no one would know that you fed me until there was no choice left than to shed this skin to grow. I became the serpent, dangling the apple for a bite, the snow white, my poison, your ignorance of the solo climatic mess I created to be the villain now by choice, the fake evil for your tale to share so you can snare the minds in the next chapter. Hot, wow. Okay, what inspired you to write that right? That is, wow. I legit saw Adam and Eve, and I saw the serpent. I saw, I saw all that. Like, That's why I, I need you to read that again, because, holy shit, that was, wow. Yeah, so, um, basically, it's being in a relationship where I know who the true person is behind the mask that everybody else is given. Um, and that in order to set myself free, to be let go, that I had to become the villain and do something that would allow that to happen. Wow. So that's basically what that means. Wow. No, I know that. I'm never I think that's what it is, our relationships in general. It's like a lot of us hide behind these masks. And it's just, it's okay. like you said, sometimes you have to be that other person that like, kind of rip the mask off. No, this is who you really are. Don't try to bullshit me with that. And that. That's the way I took that. And it was just like, wow. Like the imagery you used for that was such amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. For you me. Thanks to everybody else for encouraging me to come on. I appreciate yes, it. Yes. It was nice to meet you. Thank you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Thank you so much. Thanks. Bye. Yo. Yeah. Insane. Oh, that was insane. All right. So I'm doing this like in an order that I'm getting this. All right. So, all right. 10 second delay. Let's do this. All right. What's hey, up, what's brother? up? Good. I'm good. How are you, brother? How you doing? I'm hanging in there, man. Taking it one day at a time. How about yourself, man? Yeah, I'm doing good. Right. It's not Papa. Uh, his name is Andy. Hey, my hello. daughter. How are you? 
All right. I can only get to some ones that I printed off. All right. Um, most of them are not on my page. Okay. Um, yeah, you did draw on it. I didn't know I was going to be up so soon. Yeah, no, I'm doing it like according to the order that I'm receiving it. So you just have it to be next. I'm just clicking on who's, you know, who, like there's like an order. So I'm just clicking away. Hold on, Sky. Um, so I got one. So if you want to pick one, two, three, or four. Make that easy. All right, four. Four? All right. I haven't read this one. Uh, it's called The Captain. Okay. Captain at the helm with rum in the hand. Blue sky, intermittent fasting. Uh, see. Casting shadows for a nice shade. Seagull circling around the sun rings. He never knew the trouble he was in. The captain sails as he always did, never second guessing. Cheerful smiles only hid the future days coming. Hold on, I'm reading. Hold on, okay? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, baby. Sailing a ship through a storm, wind rain pressing through the waves, crashing over the sides of the ship, from each passing dip, ship beaten and battered, sails are all torn and tattered. Blown off course by hundreds of miles, there was nothing dry on board. Wood splintering, mass splitting, all comes crashing down. Only now he wished to smile. All that, he, all that could be done is hold on once it begun for this storm to run the course it had begun. The captain now on the precipice of never-ending storm with a revolver in one hand, rum in the other, he could only mourn the life he wishes, but never his. Buzzards replace the seagulls now on the brim of the bow. Their bellies fat, but they still eat, not knowing their next, their next meal. The captain lay with a smile on his face. If he, if only he knew what the winds blew, the next day come to pass, horizon and the grass. The captain held no grace. Wow. I love the imagery of that piece, man. Thank you. <laughs> no, I have a child too, so I understand, bro. <laughs> right. No, thank you for coming in. Thank you so much for um, sharing that piece with me, man. What, what, I'm just curious, what inspired that? Um, I'm not, I don't, it's, it's been a while since I wrote it. Um, but I think it all came in. It's like, have you seen the mist from, um, oh, uh, there's a movie called the mist. I'm blanking on who did it. Um, with the mist, is that the one that, that it was these flies? It was something. It was kind of a horror. I think it was the the Stephen King maybe wrote okay. the book, and uh, and it's basically at the beginning of the movie, somebody says this person has to die for it to resolve. This mist comes over. All these animals things start killing everybody. Right. Hold on. And. Uh, and so, at the end of it, this person dies, the mist lifts, and it's, it's this guessing, is it really because this person died, or is it if they just waited three more minutes, they get saved? And right. uh, it was kind of, kind of a play on that. It's like this captain going through this storm, really rough time. He just didn't want to, to wait for it out, so he kills himself, and then, you know, a few days later, it's done. He sees, um, you know, a horizon. He sees an island, or he sees some kind of land, and it's like, well, 
should he just held on, you know, one, two, three more nights or, or what? So, right, right. No, that's awesome. And you know what? I think a lot of us can relate to that too, because there's a lot of things in life where it's like, if I had waited a while longer, would, ha would it have made a little difference type right. of thing? You know, that's the way I took that. You know, that's why I just asked you about the whole, what inspired that piece, man. That, that's wild, man. Or do you just I, think have I, think, to... I think a lot of us relate to that, man. Right. Or do you just have to ride the storm out just a little bit longer than you think you can? Yeah. And then you'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, bro. Thank you for jumping in, bro. And um, God bless you, man. All right. Thank you, man. No doubt. No doubt. All right. Oh my god, <laughs> I have a son too, so I understand. All right, let's do this. All right, 10 second delay, ladies and gentlemen. All right, how are oh, you? Oh, that was surprising. Hi, I'm good. How are yeah, you? Yeah, no, uh, yeah, I know. Again, like I, like I was telling Scott, I was going by according to the order of how the requests are, so I don't know. I'm just pressing buttons. So you just happen to be next. I was like, okay, so you're I'm next. ready. Cool. I'm ready. How are you? I'm okay. I'm okay. You know, um, last couple of days were weird, but I'm, I'm living. I'm alive. I'm breathing. So Good. can't complain. Good. I just read your message, by the way. Thank you. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, awesome. I, Cause I, I did, I tried to jump in yesterday, but like, I noticed you were doing it in the order. So I didn't want to like, um, I didn't know when I was going to go on or whatever. So I was like, you know, I'll jump in next time for sure. But um, you know I, I did see stuff. It was really awesome. You know what? Yeah, thanks. Um, I'll do it again this Saturday. And I think I'm not even making, like, maybe an order, you know. So when you have time, just slide. And then, you no know. No doubt. No you can... doubt. Sounds good. Sounds good. But I, I see, I saw, like, the remaining hour of that. So it was really good. Cool. Thank you. I'm glad you liked it. All right. All right. Okay. I got something for you. All right, let me have it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the space between you and me used to be occupied by love, but it takes a second to kill a spark. There's no winner after a war. Too many memories to bury. I think I need a whole graveyard. What is healing but walking across a battlefield and picking up what's left unharmed, holding no grudge while stepping above lifeless pieces of my own heart. Maybe it was all my fault. Maybe me loving you meant me handing you a gun. Yes, it takes a second to kill a spark. But months pass, and your name still sounds like trauma. That's it. Wow. Yeah, glad you, glad you like it. Wow. That, wow, Thank that's you. very relatable piece. Wow. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for sharing that piece with me. Thanks for having me. I hope I see you on Saturday. Yes, yes, I would try my best. Again, I gotta cool. see what's going on this weekend in particular. There's so much going on. <laughs> oh cool. my god, because um, the only way we're like keeping touch with my family now is just this video chat thing on on um on um oh, what's that thing WhatsApp. So that's the only way we can see each other now. Like Mother's Day was the same thing. Oh. We just did like video chat for like two hours. Nice. So I know we we'll to do one um saturday and i think tonight after i finished the live my mom wants to talk to me for a little bit nice. so um, well appreciate every moment right yes yes thank you so much you have a good night and have fun with your right, life you too god bless you same to you bye bye all right wow she killed that oh my god all right let's keep doing this all right I got 10 minutes left, ladies and gentlemen. Keep sending those requests. I am gonna do a second hour and then just keep requesting in. Oh, wow, hi. I got a whole face mask on and I came, I'm committed to this live. <laughs> oh, no, thank you so much. <laughs> is that the wait, Is that the, the, the black thing that you have to peel off? Is that what um, that is? You just wash this. Oh, thing. no, cause my, oh my God, who was it? So when I knew recently did that and she did like a challenge and like she, Oh my god it looked i never been through it but it looked painful and i'm like you've never seen me do that i don't give a damn much money you give me for that I, i'm not doing that <laughs> my phone might cut out so i'm gonna do this as fast as i can but if i okay. if, it, if it cuts out then i'm so sorry <laughs> no it's okay hey, let me have it <laughs> all right okay you are kind say it again 
you are kind. I know, I know that I am, but sometimes I just want to tell them to go fuck themselves. You don't know what I'm made of. You see what I show you and I show you the good, the funny, the sexy, the charming. I am all of that, but I also won't hold back. I am kind, but that does not mean I've rolled out the carpet that's red with me underneath so you can go ahead and walk over me, all over me. Don't think that I can't or think that I won't. Take these kind hands of mine and grip at your throat until you're choking out apologies and screaming to put back this side of me that was folded up neatly, living in my pocket until you came for me. I am kind. I say please and thank you, even when they don't deserve it. I say I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, over and over again. Like a program in my brain, locked on default. It's not my fault. I'm sorry. No, it was never my fault. Warn them again. You don't know about the girls who used to pull at my hair and make fun of my breasts just because theirs weren't there. And I've never even shared the story of him breaking into my room, kissing my tongue. I can still taste the booze. My body said no, but my mouth couldn't move. So he took it as an opportunity that he just couldn't lose. I am kind, but I've already played victim. I remember sitting in my kitchen, staring at the flame on the stove, thinking, how do I become the dancing colors of orange and blue? If mishandled at any point, they aren't afraid to burn you. Then I got tired of dreaming, started believing until I became that feeling. So you don't have to like me, but don't try to test me. Sharpen your pencil and get ready to copy each bubbled in circle on my answer key. Remember, I only show you what I want you to see. And although I let judgments bounce right off of me, if you don't want to burn, I suggest some respect when I treat you kindly. Wow. Woo! <laughs> wow. Yo, I... Uh, I'm gonna keep saying this sound blue in the face. I think I'm just retiring poetry altogether. But that, oh my fucking god, what the fuck? Wow. That was the first time I read that out. So thank wow. you for letting me do that. No, absolutely. You know what's funny? Um, I had friends that went through that, so that's why it hit. It hurts more for me. And also, I had a friend of mine that unfortunately committed suicide because she went through a traumatic experience and it's just uh. I, I felt that, so that's why I, I had a few friends that unfortunately passed away from situations yeah. like that. It was just like, so that I get, I felt it more, but also I like it hurt more because I know, like, I never been through those things, but like I had friends that went through that, and some survived, some of them just took the life type of thing. So, oh shit. Yeah. It's wow. Like, we get through it with if you have support and love and this community. That's all that they're about, support and love. I'm part of, yes. I'm part of the foundations um, group and every day they're just saving my life. So, great. Wow, that I gotta say, foundations group is just taking over tonight. Holy it's shit. Yeah, never... We love like <laughs> Yo, exactly. Oh my God. Thank you yeah. so much. Thanks for having me. For, um, you, when you get the chance, inbox me. Just when you okay. get the chance. For sure, for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Wow. Oh my God. How do I do that? Oh my God. Yo, what the fuck? Jesus Christ. Oh my God. All right. Let's do this. Uh, okay. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that. Yeah. Um, Poetry Diaries, that was very, um, yeah, that was very important. Hey. How are you? How are you? Yeah, man? yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. I'm, what about you, don't man? mind me. I'm just still trying to compose my, holy oh, shit. That last piece, man. Wow. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it was Woo! so, so, so important. Like, uh, I can relate to many things that, of what she said. That was dope. Yeah. So wow. uh, I got this piece and it's kind of slam more than poetry, like it's poetry slam, 
Okay. And it's about like a relationship and breakups and how to move on of a toxic relationship or something. Okay. So yeah. Heard he told them he's the one. Baby, the ones comes and go. Accept you just for fun. Don't make up a big show. The choice is yours, girl, and he decided to go. You're not afraid to drown. I know where the flow. I love how you move now. I love how you glow. Take my advice still and just take it slow. People stuck in this deal. Everyone is dual. The ones who are not fully seem like jewel. We need this pain right now, need this life fuel. Life is a bitch, they say, but the bitch ain't cruel. I had to leave you for my own. Now I can't find you around. I guess you listen proposed because you're going round. The seat beside, beside me is empty. Why the rice seems to over? I'm clean now, but goddamn, I don't feel sober. The ride was so high on my head, it hovers. We were always friends first, we maybe were never lovers. Before it's better, it which gets worse. Never seen a rainbow without getting wet first. Just take some advice from the expert. I might add what when the stress hurts. Start the process from the chest first. Breath, remember. That was the reason you planted your seed, remember. For it to grow with your every need, remember. Now it's the slant to my ears. I miss the feeling. The thought ate in many ways to simulate the healing. And it's so fulfilling. Wow. Bro, I thank wow. you. Man. Wow, thank you so yeah, much for thank sharing you, thank that. You. Holy I, wow. I go live with wait, you're breaking up for some reason. My, my slam in public. What? Wait, you're breaking up. Oh no. Wait, can you see me? Yeah, yeah. Can you see me? Right. I think that Yeah, you're breaking up a little time. bit, but I, I was able to eat them I was able to hear the piece, man. Thank you so much for sharing that. Wow, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So much. It was such a pleasure, though. It was so, such a pleasure, and I, I really appreciate that, and I really appreciate you, man. Wow, wow. Thank you so thank much. You, thank you, thank you, you much, brother. Thank you, you're welcome, God bless. Yeah. Wow. Yo, that was deep. All right, guys, I have... All right, I have three... Seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have three minutes left, guys. So um, what I'm going to do... Do I have time for another one? All right, you know, I have time for one more. Who's next? All right, so we have a repeat guy here. So brace yourself because it's going to get it's gonna get more hotter right now. So it's the last guy that I'm going to come back in. And then um, I'm going to do a second hour. Hey, welcome back, brother. All right. Hey, man. Hey. hey. This is like, I've, I've seen a few lives now, but this one has been start to finish, like, blown me away. Like, there's so many amazing people. Like, I just, this so vibe, man. There's so much vibe. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god all right so i was just saying quick um all right go, go ahead because i only have two minutes left but i'm gonna restart the live for a second hour so i right, go ahead uh i got a quick one it's about like the voices that are in your head the the bad one and the good one that tell you to do good things or bad things i made a lot of bad choices when i was younger but i've done a lot of things i'm proud of now and this is another one that's like a mantra to my face uh, mantra in my life um i've got a devil that sits on my shoulder and every day he gets colder which is good for me because it means i am not burning in an eternal flame i can't say the same for the angel that sits on the other side because heaven is where he wants to reside but heaven is not a place for me it's a classic story of a lost soul wandering purgatory every day they whisper suggestions of the suggested directions implying they are both of the best intentions but who would you believe a fire with barely enough oxygen to breathe or a deity who would like gravity to politely release me when i am deceased there is no peace and that's a statement that's hard to police it's the loudest silence that will never cease that silence leads to an internal violence a conflict of interest in which i have no interest this duality seems to me to be the very fabric of reality i look at good and evil and try to draw the divide with clarity am i good or am I bad? Well, ask the devil how many wins he's had. I don't think it's an easy decision to draw such a harsh division because we've blurred those lines. And that's the recipe for all mankind, but man is not kind. Man looks for these divine signs and at the very same time commits immortal crimes. These are the signs of the times that will never change. Even if we think human nature is just deranged, we all seem to stem from the very same strain of insane. We are impressively quick to pass the blame because it's not your fault. It's not mine either. Does that mean you believe in the lesson or the teacher? Because the same facts told by different acts depend on how you react. If the angel told you that good was bad and bad was good, how... All right, so he got cut off, but holy shit. 
All right, so if he could pop back in and finish that, that would be awesome. Hey, what's going on? Um, Sage, okay, brother, I'm going to add you back on so you can finish your piece. So hold on. Uh... <laughs> right, I, want, I want you to finish your piece because I was already, I was like, oh shit. And I was like, oh my god. I, 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 oh, like, I, oh my god. Uh, it, was, it was literally, it was literally last line stuff. So it was, um, uh, uh, I don't even know where I'm at. Um, <laughs> I don't even know where I'm at. If the angel told you that good was bad and bad was good, how would you know if you could? Because uh, listen to all the noise, because listening to the voice is always your choice. Yeah, that was, it was literally last line stuff, man. I was literally, I had it in my mouth, that last line, as it cut off. <laughs> wow. wow. But that was, wow. I, I relate to that because, I mean, I, I, I've I been walking with the Lord for like seven years now. But that, like you said, the way you described that, the bad voice is a good voice. Temptation, conviction, like this, this thing, like that was so descriptive, but it was so on point. because I, I relate to that so much. And I know what that's like yeah man it's there for I everyone like the imagery too man because it's just it was just so raw like, wow, yeah, it, I, I think it's that. there for everyone no no thank you so much for having me like i think those voices are there for for everyone and as i said I, I made some bad choices and you have to be able to like look back reflect on those and yes. not regret decisions you've made because they made you how you are today so i think all those everything you've ever done is really important but you just have to be able to reflect on what was what was good and what was bad amen amen i yo brother thank you so much thank you thank, no, you, thank so you man thank you thank you so much like i'm literally i'm, I'm loving the live beyond man like this is this is the best buzz <laughs> oh my god thank you no i appreciate that thank you so much uh thank you so thank you for joining me brother god bless you man, you, man. see the comments man thank you all right god bless you man yo what is going on here all right so who else wants to come in um right now i have nobody on the queue uh illustrator poet i know you're here leon i know you're here so if you guys want to request come in i need to hear you guys especially illustrator underscore writer dot poet you have to request yeah <laughs> yo, that was insane yo wait so illustrator come on you popping in bro you gotta pop in man the first time i saw you man first time i saw you was at matt pops live man I, you gotta gotta get in here man come on roy oh so let me write in the cat i'm yeah i was gonna say i mean yeah would you guys be okay if if you don't request, is okay. If I invite you, what's up? Talk to me. I, I want to make because I don't want to just do that and then maybe they don't want to go on. You know, I don't want to make people uncomfortable. All right, oh, I got somebody. I got. Come on. Yo, brother, how are you, man? Uh very well yourself, man. Oh my God, it's good to see you, man. Good to see you. Thanks. Uh, I see everyone's hitting it hard today. So Yo, man, this live is crazy. I'm like, damn. It's a tall oh. order. All right, I'm gonna skip you right. Now. Cool. Um, I'm gonna do a piece I call uh, Monochrome on Gray, and it's right. kind of about some uh, like marginalized people that are kind of oppressed by you know. Um, governments that are oppressive and shit. So anyway, it goes like this. I guess I'm just a bored corpse, forged on the gray forms of discourse, an apparent apparition like the Paris Peace Accords, impeached at fault and breached the vault. They've opened up a can of worms and popped the cork and made a breeze of hard work and foresold at a fraction of its worth. I scratched the surface. I served the sermons of servicing facts with a purpose, assertive to say what would make others seem nervous, the serpents in the verdant grass, vermin in the cracks, and then there's scorched earth burning from the past, birthing another beast of burden, pertinent to the purge of another perfect person, eternal immersion in this curse of internal incursion, turning these aspersions into surplus aversions, rehearsed virgin words, avert from the truth we've heard, deserving of no further hurt, 
They called us less than nothing. They called us dirt. Thank you. Yo, what is good? Yo, hold up. Whoa, let me hold on, because I just absorbed everything right now, and I am like, oh my god. You guys are gonna kill me before this ed- this live ends. This is how cr- yo, that was fire, man. Wow. Yeah. I got I got a couple, but I, I just woke up so my brain's a bit foggy. Wow, wow. Thank you, yo, brother. Thank you for coming on here. Thank you for sharing that piece, man. Oh my god. Wow. You're welcome. Uh, I'll come back again if you need me. Yeah, yeah, I, and I was gonna say since you since you mentioned it, yeah, like if, if I have no one here, but you guys want to come back for a second time, that that's fine. I don't mind. I don't have like rules or anything like that. Because that's what happened last week. Last week I had maybe three different people coming like four or five times, and I'm like, oh my god, it was so good. So I don't mind. Yeah, you want to come back later on, bro? That's you're more than welcome to, man. Thanks. I'm enjoying it. God bless you, brother. Thank you so much, man. Peace. Oh my god. Wow. If you don't know who that guy is, that is illustrator underscore writer dot, wait, dot poet. I, I, I keep messing up the handle, but that dude, follow that guy. Follow him. All right. Brace yourself, guys. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. Who I can't even contain it. Yeah. So it's illustrator underscore writer dot poet. Follow that guy. He is adamant. Adam, after this next guy, you better request. I People need to know who this guy is, too. This is key underscore is underscore adamant. Bro, I'm calling you out. You have to pop in. You have to, bro. It is, if you, it's the ultimate sin if you don't pop in, man. But anyway, all right, let me get this guy back on. This is Alchemist Poetry. Yo, welcome back, brother. <laughs> Two times. Yo. Two times. We don't mess around here. Yeah, I, I, I don't mind. Because I know, I, know I know everybody else, they always, like, you know, they do one time. But I don't mind. Like, if there's no way on the queue, I don't mind, like, having more than one time. It's, it's fine. Yeah. I don't mind. I would literally but do poetry yours. all night. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if, 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 no, typically, like, if I was still living with my parents, I would be doing this all night, to be honest. But you know, I know my at next hour at nine o'clock, my son is still bed and stuff like that. But man, holy, yes. what is going on here? Phenomenal. Ooh, some some, yo, bang, fire, some bangers. Man. Some my face bangers. Is burning right now. Some bangers out here. Yeah. Oh my God, dude. Uh, it, it's like it's not even typical. Like, all right, let me read a piece. No, it's like like rap. I was like, what the fuck? Shout oh, out! Shit. Shout out the foundations page though. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta be coming with yo, that. Can heat. you send me that? Send me that so I could follow you guys. Yes. Oh my god, I gotta check this out. Oh, oh we all we all go on live every every day of the week, so it's like you'll see us. You know I mean? No doubt, no doubt. All right, this be okay. one of those. This be one of those raw ones. The raw, raw, raw. Oh snap! Oh man, it's not even. It, it's oh yeah, Monday night raw. Let's do it. <laughs> Monday night raw. <laughs> I'm about to DDT this God. poem. I'm about to DDT the fuck out of this poem. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Broke that poetry. <laughs> Come on. Think of Jim Ross. Oh, my God. Those, those are the days, man. Oh, oh man. I can literally, I got to talk to you all day. Uh, Ooh, so this one's all right. Called... Brace myself. Brace myself. Let me drink some water because I'm, I'm burning right now. Water. Man. That gallon. Yeah, that's, that's smart. Man. Yeah, that's man. Smart. I got the, the distilled water, man. It's the way to do it. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I drink a lot of tea. Yeah. Like oh, no, I love tea, too. Tea, tea, yeah. tea is awesome. All right. This one's called I Spell Masculinity with a K. Okay. Ah, the glory. Don't you want it all? The I got her number. I'll probably smash. I fucked her, by the way. Now give me a high five, because I've never felt higher. One foot off the ground onto the bed where I fucked the shit out of her. Not literally like anal gone wrong, but to the point where I think I could pull out the truth when I tell my boys. Isn't that what this is all about? Man. Fire. Meat. Oh, you're quiet now. What happened to all the uh and the yeah? And the grunts and all the bitches. Tell me about all your bitches. 
Matter of fact, tell me about the one. Not the one that got away, but the one that took your breath away. Then took your breath away. So you couldn't breathe anymore, so you suffocate on the pain you cause in vain. Tell me how you really feel. The truth. The part where it hurts. The part where you actually have to sit your masculinity down and dig deep. To the parts where you don't wander. And wonder why you don't look under. Oh, you don't, you don't want to go down that glory hold on, you say? It's not like that I'm taking it the wrong way. So you're telling me that you pick and choose what you glorify based on the satisfaction you can get from it. You want to glorify the last shot right before the buzzer, the one that you made. But when they call the timeout during the game, you sit on the bench and no look past the other way because it's easy to pay attention to the baddie on the floor, seats at half court, half naked, almost half time to have time to give you a full court press. You weigh the pros and confidently stay in your conference. East, west, north, go down south. No matter how you look at it, the division is there. You over another girl in the stands is not the answer. You ever stand under the stands after an afternoon game? Good evening lines runs like a horizon. Sun sending a pick for the moon to slip into the night sky hook. Look away, child, look away. Someday my boy will turn out to be the same way. Thank you. That's it. Um, oh, <laughs> oh my, okay, that's it. I officially retired. <laughs> like, oh my God. I'm you out. just spoke. <laughs> Yo, I'm going to tell you why. Hold on. I, oh my God, where is the flower? I don't have a napkin. I would have just did this. My stomach. Holy <laughs> shit. Wow. Bro, I'm going to tell you why I thought, oh, man, that's one of those things like, okay, somebody finally said some shit. That's how I felt. That was one yep. of those things that needed to be said for years. I was angry. I was really angry. I, no, dude, let me. Oh my God. I was mad when I wrote I, that. Let me tell you something, bro. Like, everything you said, I agree with. And I'll tell you why. Because I've had so many dude friends. Mm -hmm. It was all about the glory. Yo, you should see what I did to this bitch here or this bitch that. And it's like, yeah. Come on. You know, in real life, it's not like that. Like, why are you lying for? Oh, you just want to show off, you know? And it's just. Uh, like you know, I'm a, I'm in a male species, but it's like sometimes I'm ashamed to call myself a man because like a lot of men, not everyone, but a lot of men I've known are just so degrading when it comes to women, and it's just I, I just don't excuse my line, but I just don't fucking understand that. Like I don't understand what like like okay, so you fucked the girl, all right, but it's like. That's between you and the girl. Like, what are you trying to improve? Because you're a man. And it's like, God forbid, I say, yo, what, like, what the hell's going on? I was always so, oh, well, you, you, what was it? Oh, the reason why you're saying it because you never had sex before type bullshit. Like, it was just the bullshit. This is what this is. This is the bullshit. Dude, Thank you, it, oh, it's so real. Thank you for saying that. And I, the, the, re the realest part about that is like growing up, like, I'm not going to front with you. Like, I, I I fell into that, right? It's because I like I felt like I had to in a sense, right? I was like the pressure of like being in the group, right? The the idea. And then I was like almost like mad at myself. I was like, why did I fall into that in my younger years? So this yeah. is me, this is like a homage, this is an ode to the masculinity of my past, in a sense. And the masculinity that I see displayed sometimes within people, because at the end of it, I feel like it's just a lot of fear of people not having compassion for themselves. Like maybe a girl didn't like him or a, like a guy specifically, and he just, he's angry, right? Because he couldn't get that love outside when he should have just been looking for it within. No, that's, that's exactly what it is, bro. And is it because I know when I was growing up, I was always taught to like respect women. Like, that's just how my dad was. Mm. And um, it, wow, like, hold on. See, now I lost my train of thought, but I, I, I oh my God, why? Okay. I'm sorry, because it's just, I'm trying to absorb everything. This is crazy. Like, but it's so true. And, um, well, I, I kind of lost for words. I, <laughs> I fuck with you so much, man. I appreciate the platform, man. Thank you for hosting this consistently. Oh, thank you, bro. Like, I'm I'm I relate to that, though. And I know what you're saying about the whole, you know, this this whole thing growing up. And, um, well, for mm -hmm. me, I was sheltered, so I wasn't really allowed 
to even talk to people because I just wasn't allowed to have a social circle because my dad was just overprotective. But like, I would see wow. other people, you know, when you're young, you grow up and you see all the brother having all these girls. My brother had all these women, you know, he's a player or whatever back then. And I said, oh, but I wanted that because it wasn't that, that's the play women. But the fact that, because I didn't understand that when I was growing up, I just saw that every week he had like a different girl. I'm like, oh man, he must be doing so he must got gay because every girl he's doing something with every every girl he meets. It's like almost every race known to man. I'm like, oh, hey, what's this secret? I want to know, but I didn't know it was going behind behind doors, you know, and that's what yeah. it is. But I was yeah. behind closed doors. The, and when I got truth. older and mm -hmm. I had friends that were guys that now was doing the same thing. And you know, that's like a twist because women sometimes do it too, but not in that way with guys do it, and it's just now I started to see the bigger scope of the like, oh, okay, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Yes, now, but yes. I guess, I guess for me, when I was, as I got older, I guess I was always okay to say no, because I've learned to say no a lot. But again, I, I, I saw the bigger picture later. I was like, oh, crap, that's what it is. Same here. Your piece just, oh my God. I'm, I'm, I appreciate you resonating with it because it, it, it's real. Like I told you, it was raw in the beginning. It's like the raw, like one of the rawest, like masculinity. I spell masculinity with a K because it's a, it's a mask. It's a facade. You know what I mean? Sometimes. This, it is. Yep. No, thank you so much for sharing that, bro. Thank Absolutely. You. Thank you for listening, man. I really appreciate you. Yes. God bless you, brother. Peace and love. God bless you too. All right, man. Wow. He said, yo. All right, let's do this. All right, all right, let's, do, okay. All right, all right, let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, he is adamant, is here. How are you, brother? Wow, it's finally good to see you, man. Yeah, it's been a while. I've been uh, in the caves, man, in the caves. Yo, bro, man. Oh, how I, are jumped, you been, I jumped man? in just to watch, man, and then you're like, oh, you gotta get on. And I was like, oh, okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, you know we've had our conversation you know i love your yeah, music man. i love when you go on here and you do your thing i'm like oh my god i hope he jumps in, jumps in here I'm, I'm, here you are man. You are just really love, good man. Too, man bro thank you yeah yeah no nah, it's all good no nah, i love what you're doing man I've, I've actually watched a few of them and there's some decent talent out there so it's thank good to see brother. um yeah i i've never read this piece out loud before it's recently written so okay. i'll give it a go <laughs> right, um, do it. Uh, it's titled Spare Key. Okay. Um, I found the spare key she no longer shares with me in her underwear drawer. I claw out a handful and then I inhale her smell and exhale with a smile. While I've slid down my pants with my other hand to grip my dick as I think to grab a pair of her panties and tie them in a knot around my cock and jerk off erotically. Till I get off exactly the same way I did with your sister's G-string and picture. I had to dispose of the evidence after I'd finished with it. I'm sick. Mentally, if somebody's made me their lover before, but physically, I'm functioning. I have a good cover-up for it. I just can't be me. I have to play me in my own life and write me a script. It's scary a bit to more than likely everybody else that I don't even know how to be myself without poetry. Words are my guide, and what these words I write tell me to do sometimes frightens the absolute shit out of me. But they're real, and I feel like when I say real, I mean truth. And when I say truth, I'm giving you the scoop on how I deal with my mind and its bitterness, referring to things only my psychologist should be involved in. But I don't tell her. Yet here I am, shouting rape for clickbait purposes and telling every fucking person on the gram my sick and twisted fantasies like you'll understand. Maybe a partial of people will comprehend and the rest of the entirety will say you've lost your marbles, man. But crazy is the plural form to explaining me in metaphor many or more other ways. I'll say I'm crazy smart and can catch lightning in a bottle, wrestle a whale underwater without fuss to a Taurus because I'm Chuck Norris when it comes to these impossible scenarios. I'm a Deadpool kind of hero. Jim Carrey in his prime before he went dark when he was in the mask some time ago. I've always considered myself the spare key that affords a means of access like the key to greatness, but I must elaborate. If this was the right right, I would be great, but I've got to write a topic for them to be choosing from. I'm not the effort they'd be putting in to face off with such and such, because I still haven't worked out how to battle anybody but myself, and plus to touch base back on selecting someone still a rookie, their books they praise. I'm in a place they wouldn't be looking. 
I hate how I'm able to carry out the moral to the story because I can't see me getting to the part to reveal what I should be saying. Before I did anything, I just felt the need it needed explaining. So here goes nothing again. The most complex part to me. I don't want you to read. I want your hand to understand the messed up half of me. I ask you to go deep with your professional opinions and report as I release a piece I wrestle demons for, tantalize my mind to only ignore that practically the entire time I've been a writer to this motive I've had in mind that one, I don't know what my diagnosis is. Fuck. Two, this spare key shares to the side of me. That's a nut. Please get me cut. What do I do? I fear I'm not stable enough to be able to make clear in my head that it's a bad idea, but I stare at this key I hold, only caring about the power it holds to uphold my curiosity she's locked me on the other side of the door from. But that's not going to stop me. Peeping through windows and not like what I see. Dogs won't bark as I roam the yard because they know me. Window uh, and not what, like what I see. Dogs won't bark as I roam the yard because they know me. Neighbours, sorry. Neighbours won't act suspicious, thinking I'm only there for a visit. They only witness to notice and alert the police of my uncertain purpose would be her or him. Yes, him. Him as a synonym. But I'll give the lot of yous that sin for him, who I don't know who is, but I have an anonymous tip. I think his name's going to be Nicholas, which will be ridiculous when I make him dickless if he puts his penis anywhere near her clitoris. If I see her knees at a width wider enough to be in, to do her hard starfish, he'll feel a pinch in his back from where I've stabbed him. As it burns, as I turn the sharp bit in a circle to tangle his spine in. Don't think I should get this key cut. I could just leave and let them have their love. Because it's going to hurt me more than her in the long run. But I don't think being on my own will help. Because knowing myself when I'm alone with self-reflection, in my case, makes the problem worse. If she just evaporate off the face of this earth so I misplace the urge to purge her, I'll be content with no revenge and left with only these words. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, I relate to that. So that's why I'm like... Yeah, man. That was brutal. I was in a dark place at that time. And that was only probably a week ago. So... Wow. No, dude, I relate to that. In so many yeah. levels, bro. I, there's so many directions you could take that in, man. Thank, oh my god, wow. Thanks, man. No, thank, thank you, that everyone. Very raw, bro, and and very like this. Just oh man, like I don't even know how to describe it. It's like, jeez, man. I don't have a lighter, so I just go like that. And, like, <laughs> I've never read that out loud before, so excuse wow. the mistakes and stuff so no, no it's okay bro yeah. but you know what? it takes a lot to share something like that thank you yeah so much. man i'm i'm brutally honest person so i think honesty is very freeing so you got to get I, it out i i agree with you on that <clears throat> yeah man i used to get in trouble because i was honest i was too brutally honest and i used to get nice to get me in trouble a lot of things in it. and now it's like it's okay now but i'm like oh what was the honesty back then oh, yeah <laughs> Fire, yeah, man. Thank you so much. Nah, appreciate you calling me in, man. Uh, you got yes, me at the right yes. time. Yeah, still, brother. Thank you so much, man. God bless you, man. Just want to shout out everyone beforehand. Great pieces and the ones to come, I'm sure, are going to be amazing. Thanks, guys. Thank you, brother. Thanks, man. Woo! Yo. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh. Okay. John Grazer, dude. You have to pop in. I'm going to keep calling you out until you pop in right now. I need you to pop in. People need to know who you are as well. Oh, my God. That I, I cannot stress this about uh, enough. Oh, my God. Okay. Whew. All right. Let's do this. All right. Uh, I have some repeats, but I have two new ones that haven't jumped in yet. So, guys, uh, if you've been here before and you're coming back again, just, just be patient with me. Um, I'll have you guys pop in, but let me get, I have two people who have not been on here yet. So, uh, just patient with me. All right. <laughs> Brother, how are you? It's finally good to meet you, man. Andy, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you perfectly. This is my first time ever. Hey, welcome, <laughs> I, man. You, you start calling people out. I said, well, you know, I better get get with the program here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna throw you out next, so I'm like, oh, I'm like, deep into it, man. I know. Good to see you. I nice to meet you, man. You too, brother. I, I'm so happy to finally get to do this. So, 
I had this other device that I found, so I'm able to do it. I'm going to read off the other device. That's how it works, right? Yeah. Just Okay. So anyways, this piece is uh, it's about my brother. I wrote this to my brother 23 years ago in 1997. He was incarcerated in the penitentiary. And I wrote it for him because he was hurting, you know, and his wife was hurting. And he's fine now. He's been out of prison for 10 years. He's doing great. But a lot of my family's in prison, so it's just one of those things. You, can, you, you might be able to relate, maybe not. We'll see. Anyways, this is called Freedom. You got it? Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you perfectly, All right, brother. man. Here, here we go. Uh, okay. Freedom. Freedom is a state of mind, not a state of being. Once you're free within yourself, then you'll know what I mean. It's true you're locked up and confined behind bars. Deprivation of freedom can cause emotional scars. Therefore, you must become free within your spiritual mind because the fruits of incarceration are so unkind. I'm sure the time passes slowly when you're shackled and bound and when the freedom of which I speak is nowhere to be found. But your freedom is within and it's yours for the taking. Although it's hard to be spiritually accepting when your heart is broke and aching. Whew, that's the first time I read this, sorry, brother. I'm not in your shoes. So I don't know your pain. I also know you've got nothing to lose and everything to gain. I love and miss you so very much. I wish we had time together. But society says you broke their laws and now you must face the weather. And the forecast is dark, dreary, and sad. Your freedom is gone. And for this, I feel bad. I'm sure it's hard to accept a life behind bars, bound between four walls and never seen the stars. Therefore, stay strong, brother. There's a beautiful woman at home the one you call your wife. She's home and nurturing and protecting your children. She loves you more than life. She says a prayer every night that she hopes one day comes true. She prays that God will grant you freedom. She dreams of growing old with you. So please stay free, my brother, and do the best you can. And remember, the freedom you seek comes from within, not from any man. That's it, brother. Mm. You know what? Yeah, Sorry. No, I relate to that in so many ways. I mean, I've never been to prison or anything like that, but if I could be metaphorically for a minute, this. Yeah, 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 exactly. This, right here, prison, right here. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, that was years ago. Right here. That's, the, that's why I kept thinking about this whole time. Yeah. Even though I didn't go to a physical prison, but it was the whole, we have our own mental prison here, and it feels just like that, you know? And exactly. And everybody feels so differently. Exactly. And I say that, dude, for years before I came to the Lord, bro. I'm going to say, I came to the Lord in 2013, man. Before that, bro, that's all it was for me, man. And I had to put on this, like, this yeah. mask because, you know, God forbid I told my friends I was miserable. or Because, unfortunately, I was, in, I was in a social circle where you couldn't really talk about life. You couldn't talk mm -hmm. about, like, you know, misery. Right. Because, you know, all I did was hung out, we drank. And, and, yeah. and I didn't really have a companion. I didn't have any girlfriends or anything like that. And it was just, I had no one to really trust. And my trust circle was like very, very, very small circle of yeah. trust. And I had maybe one or two people that I could talk. But even that, I had to discern who I told certain things to. Because even that, even your closest friend, even your closest like relative you came to, so, you know. And, exactly. No, that was, that's growing yeah, up. That was growing up. That's... Everybody in the family, every, everyone in the family went to prison or, uh, except me, wow. thank God I didn't, but I had sisters and brothers and a lot of heroin, a lot of stuff, man. Anyways, that's just one of those things, but he's doing great now and uh, we're really close. Man. He's, you know, he's my age, so he's, he's 59, I think, or 60 or something like that. But thanks for having me, brother. I appreciate it, man. I'm going to uh, definitely oh, check back with you. In. I, I got so a bunch of other stuff, true. you know, I didn't know what to do. I mean, I, I had some stuff that, I mean, you guys are going all over the place all over the place i thought i'd bring it in a little bit you know <laughs> yeah no it, dude my wife was... thank you brother i appreciate it man thanks so much no, thanks thanks you, for having thanks me so much for sharing that man thanks for having me i'll come back brother thanks yes all right okay. god bless you man. okay bye bye everybody all right mm. wow. oh my Huck. wow all right <sighs> holy shit all right uh all right another new person here um all right Give me one second, guys. I have two people who have been on the, you know, from the other lives before repeats. Um, I have two new people who have not jumped on yet. And one of them who's coming right now is um, first timer. So, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The legendary John Grazer 33. All right, brother. Yes. How are you, my friend? How you been? 
I'm good. I can barely hear you. Hold on. I don't know what's going on. Wait, you hear me good or? Nah. I can't hear you at all, hardly. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you good. You hear okay, me? I can, yeah, I can hear you now. All right, good, good. How are you, man? I'm good. What uh, about good you? Um, day by day, man. Day by day. Yeah, no, that's point. Sometimes it's a breath at a time, right? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let me have it, brother. Let me have it right now, bro. <laughs> I figured I'll do this uh, this piece I just wrote, uh, Egregious Mentality. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. All right. Uh, out your mind comes, out, well, let me restart. Out your mind comes power from knowledge, out of understanding, while off the tongue, wisdom follows. Time becomes irrelevant, less demanding, but here goes some candy. Red or blue, you pick the pill to swallow. Mask of love tainted by one of unspoken pain, hidden away in a place to come to by the essence of change. Life is like a blind date, beginning and ending with a slap to the face, with a delicious desire, defining the taste. I found a way to kiss the pleasure of pain, paint a picture of its eternal rains dripping away. If you have blind faith, there's no sound reasoning and the emptiness attached to hope. We need to stop living for the flesh and connect to the embrace of the soul and gain the perspective of a lip, uh, different type of yellow brick road. Breathe, breathe life into your thoughts. Don't let them expire. And if you're stuck in the lower level, it's due to the lack of the ability to think any higher. On the inside, we all have secret hidden places where hotter is the fire and more plainly, deeper is the desire. Bug in my ear, translating the hieroglyphic hymns that my mind has already written, giving credence with choice words bearing witness. An old soul from an old world handed me a piece of advice from the word of the wise and it's purposely concise. We need to bridge the gap to the divide and end the nonsense and just unite now. Kindly go back to the beginning of this right so you can read each word twice. I fumbled it around, man. I was messing that one up bad. Wow. But dude, I, oh. Dude, like, I, I I don't know what to say because th that was such a powerful and such a, oh my God, wow. I'll tell you, bro, every time you read a piece, dude. I stumble. <laughs> so it's, it's one of those things like we have to just be quiet and listen to every word you say because you, you can't miss nothing with you. Like once you miss something, that's it. But you cannot miss anything with this guy right here, bro. You, oh my God. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you so much for reading that piece sure. to me, man. That was, wow. Guys, if you don't know who this guy is, this is John Grazer, 33. Follow this man right here. He has a way with words. He's powerful. This guy, no joke. This guy's legit. You have to follow this guy. Thank you so, brother. Thank you so much. All right, bro. God bless you. All right. God bless you, man. Yo, wow, wow. Whoo, all right, all right. All right, let's do this. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, Dios mío. Oh. Hey, how are, I'm sorry, I'm trying to maintain my confusion. Yeah, you're right. What's, yeah, take a swig. <laughs> Yeah, and I have to use the bathroom, but I have to wait till life is over. Oh my god! No, no, no. no it's okay. <laughs> I can see you sitting there, like. <laughs> Yo, oh my god! This, the rocking chair is helping a lot. But, oh my god! Yeah. Oh bless you! Thank oh God! Whew, all right, come on, let me have it because I have to go here. Everybody was chatting for you too, so come on. Okay, this one is a uh, self-doubt serenade, which I need because I'm fucking nervous. So let's go for it. Nah, come on. You went three times last <laughs> week. There's no reason to be nervous. Come on. Oh, <laughs> starting again, I tell you. Right. Okay. Take a second. Breathe. Remind myself I believe that my art has merit and I'm justified to share it. Worthy of expression that alleviates the suppression of feeling subject to repression so it feels a bit like confession. Getting off my chest some. 
out of my head to allay the ache as words accumulate till dusk from daybreak, unraveling thought onto paper so I won't have to deal with it later, relinquishing ownership of messed up ideas and clever wordplay shit that keep me up when my bedroom's moonlit. Surrounding my mattress is a paper dam. Writer's traffic jam, a moat of tossed aside notes and scribbled on backs of Rizzler packs to love none for a roach. Waste paper bin filling, pencil lead killing, thought over spilling into sleep state, head spinning, envisioning myself crafting sentences out of sensation that have some relation to my current situation. Overlooking attention to grammar and punctuation. Less about crossing T's and apostrophes, more a question mark around the human condition. Funneling untold frustrations to somewhere between despair and elation. Zero gravity flotation among literary equations where expression meets emotion, where images, ideas, and self exploration multiply with stories, fears, and metaphorical visions, then square rooted through division till time stands still for a fraction. It feels like a millennium. Space, time, continuum, fuckery. Simultaneously in the, in the, ah, simultaneously in the proximity of revelry and drudgery. Am I in the realm of the masterpiece or has it all gone to buggery? More probably, painfully, in the vicinity of hellish mediocrity, constricting my thoracic capacity, grade C, GCSE, Socratic philosophy, except it rhymes, albeit erratically. But some days, some days there's clarity. Those days when truth comes in rays and cuts through the grey monotony, when I suspect the muse may have forgotten me, I'm blessed with revelation like star and moon have begotten me. It's a rarity, but those days there's unity of proclivity and phrase. So even if no one cares what I have to say, I'm going to say it anyway. <sighs> I messed uh, up a couple of times. <laughs> you try, you're trying to kill me yeah. here. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, my. Uh, I, again, I retire. <laughs> Holy. Uh, <laughs> you guys are going to kill me before uh, this live is over. What the? Everybody. Wow. Wow. Uh, I love that. Wow. Oh, thank you. My dog's going to say hello. <laughs> hello, dog. Can you say hello? Come say hello. There he is. All right. Oh, there we that go. Was... <laughs> Thanks so thank much for having me. I... Thank you so I much. Know you yes. Thank you so much. God bless you. Okay. Wow. Nice to see you again. Take care. Ooh, Take care. All right. Take care. God bless you. And you. All right. Yo, what the? F oh my God. All right, let's see who else is on the queue. All right, I have two repeats and one more new person. That's Reaper. Oh, I got it. Oh, God. I need to brace myself here. Yes, John, that is. Yeah. I noticed. Brother, how are you, man? Oh. What's up, Eddie? Can you hear me? Oh, my God. This lot. Yo, my face, I, yo, I'm like burning right now. I'm sweating because this whole live is ridiculous. Holy Everybody's shit. crazy. Everyone's yo, so wait, crazy. Before you start, I know I saw David on here, Mike on DMC. If you're on here, you better jump in. You have to jump in. Anyway, go on, brother. I'm, yo, I don't know if I'm ready. <laughs> like, I'm not ready for this anymore. Everybody's I crazy. I don't know. I think. I don't want to write poetry anymore. I'm done. Like I, don't, I can't top any of this. I can't. I cannot. And then you're gonna you're gonna kill me right now. So let's see. Let's do it. <laughs> so I gave this piece to um, Mike on to actually read, and then Emily read it last night. So I'm gonna do it my own piece on this. So this is World in Flames. All right. I need a breath. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I'm caught, in, I'm caught in the middle of perfection and inadequacy. You show me love, paint a picture for the gallery. I hung a dozen roses and then I screamed your name. I broke the mirror in hopes to maybe shatter the pain and take the blame, sitting alone in the shower, hoping for rain. So I write words on the surface and do a spoken that stains all the clothes and the photos that revoke through the slain. I thought I was over the smoking chamber and the blowback. I never had an issue selling my soul to get my flow back. I love being sober and still feeling sick. It's like being punished for doing something that I never needed to quit. Like I'm teetering on cutting a bracelet off or getting some slit wrists or a paper cut around the diameter till the visual gives a gist. 
I never really been privy to my rhetoric, but I sure as hell get down and gritty with the heaven sent while they're writing pretty and I'm penning the devil's evidence, developing the reclamation of a more immortal spiritual severance. Word flow and rhyme scheme, you touch words upon the scenes. I need my words written down to ponder the messages that are not seen. I am not a rapper, I'm an artist in the movement, moving through this illusion, turning teachers into students with my youthful exuberance. I never needed infusions of people leaving conclusions. You think I'm just rhyming triple sills, but it's of deeper refusions of demonic intrusions. It's why I can't have symphonies without the ominous music. So I sit back and write some witty jargon on a cardboard box and make paper airplanes that fight a cyborg ox, drinking ice water and four drops from a four wool box. See the difference? Now we're splitting hairs for an instance where Alice and the Hatter always needed assistance. All these normal people travel the paths of least resistance to the feet it consistent, and they just can't seem to increase the distance. Swerve dodged the gasoline, burning faster than acid scene. Reapers in his slasher dreams, plastered in the masses screens while cleaning up the after scenes. So many grab a mic and try on a lyrical vest. It's an empirical test, but they lack the complexity, and it's a satirical mess to blow off some stress. My bone to pick is with the whole damn skeleton, and people not knowing the difference between a flow and Developing relevance, they knock over and kick the whole damn pink elephant and beat it with a baseball bat with their cat in a hat while they sat thinking that they could rap. Real bars only take a seat if you ain't bringing it, spitting quick with some images in the shit with a vengeance, bitch. I'm sorry that it came to this on the stage with the lamest motherfuckers that aim to spit. You free, but I write shit and I fight with my ciphers. And when feeling righteous, I conquer with high fists. I'm sick of joining hop lobbies with herbs with no flows. They nerves and no go and I serve my flow cold. If you ain't ready for it, get off the stage. Is there a medic present? Cause he caught the blade. I leave them bruised and battered, abused and Xanax hunched over in the fetal position. The dude is panicked and his mood is average. You do this shit for fun but I'm a musician and I'm passionate spit balls like they massacres I touch people like a pastor with his passages spoken word for the masses untamed and I'm savage got your neighbors banging turning balls to an annex like I pen my ink like it's magic a word magician turned a maverick a born again sinner from a catholic if you ever doubted it I could spit it's turning out to be inaccurate and my improvement is kind of staggering badgering so many people with the asterisks and I still kind of wonder why I can't fall asleep like me and my insomnia made a deal and I asked for this Everyone wants to know what I'm feeling. They want to hear it on a track when I'm reeling. So fuck it. This is the shit that I'm feeling. I'm losing sleep and it's much too frequent. I keep taking scenes at a sequence. I can't think of any reason to sleep quick and I've been meaning to heal, but I feel sick. Everybody want to feel what I feel? Shit. I don't want to feel what I feel because I feel shit. I got apathy or whatever they perceive from my rhapsodies. We scribbles on a page label callously. The musings of a dark writer's tragedies. The facts at ease with no concern for the casualties. I wake up, then I'm ready for bed again. Some days I'm just ready for it to end. But how will my spirit ever make amends if I take when I'm great and end? Whatever I became without letting it win. Take a minute, write a piece for a minute of relief, but then the piece ends and what I'm living doesn't cease. So I grab another sheet, make a crease, attempt to release what I perceive as a defeat. But in reality, it's what brings me to my feet. Writing feelings makes me strong and not weak. Up until the morning hours, it gets bleak when I keep trying to fucking sleep. And my bloodshot eyes keep trying to weep from the overexhaustion that happens so often. I guess the reaper will only sleep in his coffin. I'm looking at a pocket watch, thinking of popping off. The only day I stop writing is when I'm dropping off with a shotgun sold off in a mall with a mouthful of swords from the holes that are bored. While I'm swinging the sword, a cylindrical lyrical force from a miracle source, I'm not feeling a pause and I'm breaking down steel doors so I never have to feel lost. But then I feel remorse for ever getting lost in the first place. And it hurts my words in the worst way. Then I curse and it gets hurt and it gets worse because I'm hurt as a first taste. And I'm and I heard that it rubs people the wrong way whenever they let some of my songs play. Just because they caught me on the wrong day. Then I feel scorned and off paid. I mean off put by the cross praise. Till I'm crisscrossed in the cross blades and lift off to a crawl space. And all that seems to get me is some more hate. I'm kind of shocked I spit 1,100 words in a pent-up venting kind of purge of demented mentions that edge my nerves into all the lessons learned on my ascension surge of all the events I heard till I'm pensive and endless search I had to elevate my verse and I found out I can't improve anymore. I can only get worse. Then I punch through the ceiling and attempt to preserve my inner sanity that was tense till it burst. Now I'm a fucking psychopath and so many of these comments are lights are moving way too fast. Lots of thunder rumbling, but their lightning's gone in a flash and I'm the only one that it seems to strike last. <laughs> oh All right, so hold on. You see this laptop right here? I'm about to throw this shit out the window. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. Oh, my God. I think it was Tara that said it best. Wait. Oh, where's that comment? Hold on. She's. 
Oh my god, wait. Oh my god. This is why I quit writing. Damn, this is it. Dude, I don't want to write poetry anymore after this. I'm done. Yeah, her words, poetry set, you can end your life. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo! Oh my. <laughs> Yeah, hip hop just came back to life. <laughs> I gotta represent New York, man. You know how it is. We yes. gotta rep them wild, bro. Oh, yo, yo, I'm I. <laughs> yo, I can't. Yo, I might as well end this live right now because this, I, I can't. Don't end the live. There's so many great people still. Yeah, gotta get. So many people, oh my bro. god. Yo, I'm gonna throw my laptop across the room and out the window right now. Yo, oh my God. Wow. Queens in the house. Roy got it. Whoo. Can you freestyle oh my too? God. Queens, it. Brooklyn. <laughs> oh my God. Bro, holy shit, man. Wow. Yeah, I needed my water. <laughs> I got that. I that, have uh, this uh, gallon I've been drinking for the last yes, hour in uh, life. Same thing. <laughs> Distilled <laughs> water, man. <laughs> 69 cents gallon, yeah. But Andy, thank you so much for letting me be here, bro. I, I appreciate it. I wanted yeah, to support you and pop in, bro. I did, man. A anytime, man. All right. You well, have a great live. All right, bro. All right. Love. God. Okay. I can't. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, oh my God. I gotta contain my composure. All right. Whew. All right. Let's do this. Wait. Uh, before I need to call somebody out. Oh, he's not here anymore. Oh man. Wait. Oh, my con's not here anymore. All right. All right. So I have a repeated person here. So here we go. The Poetry Diaries is coming back on. Hey. Wow. Oh my God. That's what I said. I'm still reeling from that. <laughs> you? That insane. What? That was insane. <laughs> oh, I haven't heard poetry like that in years. This is how I know he's legit New York. I'm originally from New York, but I live in Jersey now, but this is how I knew that, oh my God. I have not heard poetry like that in so many years. I'm gonna say since like yeah. the 90s. That's how old I am. It's insane. <sighs> I don't... He basically just said every word in the dictionary in like 10, 15 minutes. Like, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Skills. Wow. All right. Actually, I love I love the way you like take your hat off. <laughs> oh yeah. It's like, damn. No, it's cool. like I'm about to throw my laptop out the window. Like, oh my god. Oh, same way. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Now I see why Brian Edwards does not do the open mic lives all the time. Holy shit. Oh my god. Okay. Ooh, okay. That's, all right. Let me have it. A roller coaster. Let me have it. Oh. All right, let me have it. Okay, so I've never actually done this before. Um, during this live, I have been scribbling just a few ideas and actually wrote something. I have a draft. Okay, okay. so let don't use it on me. It's very, okay, very, it's it. very drafty. You know, it's very unfinished. Hey, it's all good. Okay. Okay, here I go. <clears throat> I have lived through stomach-dropping panic. The black loneliness of erasure without the poetry, scathing shame, and every whip and scorn of time, including you. But I have eaten elephants the size of houses, and I will see you defeated, see every word of your insults eaten. Absent a hero, I will wear the king's oversized armor and slay you. Boy, I have felled giants greater than you, with stones smaller than the ones you've thrown at me for my sins. I have parted rivers blacker than your blood, and drowned armies faster than you can chase me with your chariots. Oh, you got, wow. Wow. 
Okay. Again, I retire. I retired. I'm done. I. You. How'd you come? You came up with that just now? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of the rhythm is off, but um... no. I, what do you mean? No, that was. Oh my god. Okay, the thing with the elephants. That is crazy. I love that. In fairness, that was yesterday. I had that one really? line yesterday. And I was like, "Ooh, I like that. I shall build on that." Yo, <laughs> Cassie's like, "Fuck, you wrote that?" Yes. Yeah. Oh my god. Um, okay. Oh my god. I don't know if I can take any more of this. Oh my god. Thank you so much. <laughs> No worries. That was really fun, actually. I was like, oh, God, can I actually do this? Can I pull this off? <laughs> uh, thank you so much for coming back on here no and worries. sharing that. Oh, that Let really me know fun. when you post that. I have to share that. I will, yeah, I'll tag posted. you. Yes. Yeah, I was going to say for everybody, uh, for the Jam Them Down, yes, tag me in whatever you guys want to tag me in. Um, yeah, I like what you guys tag on my community page, and I can share it and stuff like that, definitely. Thank you so much for um, yeah. sharing with you. Yeah, man, this has been a great live. Amazing. Yes. I thought last week was crazy, but this is even crazier. Yeah. Oh my God. Are you doing this like every week now? Um, I'm trying to. I mean, typically on Mondays, I have like the team that goes on the last two weeks. You know, there's been unfortunate circumstances with, you know, with the people within the team. And I do have a mental health live, like a three-day live I'm doing um, next week, which, um, you know, that's when they'll come back and stuff like that. So it's just, it's just a lot going on. So I decided I said give them a break yeah. and then I'll just do open mics and stuff. But I am planning to pick a second day where and that's not Monday where I could do an open mic every week. That my that, that's the plan. I just haven't picked a day or a time yet. But it'll probably be around this time, seven, eight o'clock Eastern time. I just don't know what day yet, because one thing about me is I do, I try hard not to go over another person's life. Even though whatever it happens, but I try not to do that. So I'm gonna sure. so I have to just look around. But I am planning on doing this every week soon. So it's in the works. Feels like I don't know. Feels like we're partying. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh my god! I tell, I tell you, poetry is underrated. Like it this is. is why I do the podcasting. This is why I put it on Spotify and and Google and all that because it's underrated. People need to hear this. I know. Ooh, no worry. We're gonna we're gonna make history. This is like a movement, if you could say put it that way. This is a movement, quarantine movement. Poetry explodes. I know. Uh, like I like I've I've probably said this before, but like I was always writing for myself, you know, just for myself. And then I yeah. was like, oh, what the hell? I'll post it, see if anyone likes it. And I was like shocked. There's that there's such a thriving community. I was actually not aware that there was such a, you know, oh, thank you. community until like a month ago. It was insane. Yeah. Wow. No, That's so great. 2018 is when I started this page. It's at the regular page. And then it's just over time, it developed into this community page. And now it's just, here we are. Like, oh my God. How long have you had the page for? Uh, since 2018, I started it August, which was five months after my dad passed away. Um, it was originally my community. This, this was originally my poetry page. Okay. And I just, it just took off from there. And 2019, Poets Anonymous went one of my read one of my pieces. That's how I got involved in the community, and I started. You know, you know how you add somebody and they say, "Oh, um, suggestions and stuff like that." So that's exactly how it happened. And then this past March, I got inspired because although there was all these communities, certain communities were leaving or they didn't exist anymore. So I got inspired to convert this page into a community page, just make a brand new page with just my poetry or just everything else on it and stuff like that. So, so I've had this as a community since March, but our first live as a team happened in April. So I guess you could say since April, this page has been a community page already. So cool. Look what's happening already, man. Well done. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Thank you for, thank you for jumping in. No thank worries. you so much. I'll let someone else go. So. All right. God bless you. Thank yeah. you so much. No worries. Ooh, yo, this is insane. All right. All right, Mr. Joe Steele. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do this. So, uh, yeah, I'm just sitting out here in my garage. I've been listening to everybody reading. Uh, just kind of cleaning up in here, so. Oh, I'm sweaty right now because it's insane. Yeah, it's a little warm here, too, but I like wearing a hoodie, so. <laughs> uh, I should probably take the hoodie off, but I'm not going to take uh -oh. it off. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No. And now you're gonna be here. You're gonna light. You're gonna pour more gasoline onto this fire. Let's do it, man. 
All right, so this I wrote this piece like I started it in like I think March, and then I I just left it sitting there, and I had it all written except for four lines, and they're uh -huh. actually like spread out in the middle, so like they're kind of it's hard to explain, but I just thought of these lines and they had to go in there. So, and this is a shout out to um to good guys everywhere. All right. All right. I always lost lovers to the same types of guys. I guess I, I guess it should have been no fucking surprise. Some women have been taught that love resides between their thighs. These fucking dudes are hiding lies behind those snake charming eyes. Yet, I always lost lovers to these same types of guys. What the fuck is so hard to see that the sky sticks out like I'm fucking done to me. Smiling and listening ever so intently, I'd love to call him out. Please don't tempt me. But I don't. I just sit back and watch as the show starts to go, and I think out loud, oh shit, ain't he proud? Nose in the air, typical fucking player. What the fuck don't they see? He's a douche. It's obvious to me. But what do I know? I always lost lovers to those same types of guys. He walks around like his shit don't stink, but after a few weeks, reality sets in. The game is over. It's time to start anew. He's moved on to the next target, and he's done with you. After a couple of days, you text trying to save face. You're surprised that I'm not phased because I'm done with the fucking games. I always lost lovers to these same types of guys, but now, from my mind, you've been erased. You've already been replaced. Self-worth took your place, and from my life, you're gone without a trace. So just go on and find someone else's self-esteem to disgrace. Dude, I relate to that piece. That's why I'm like, holy shit. I relate yeah. to that on so many yep. levels. Yeah. Yep, thank you. Yeah, it's uh, one of those pieces. It's been in my head for like a long time. Like, yeah. Like jumbling around. And I've written stuff like that before, but um, not like not like really like structured and really taking the time with it. And um, I never liked them. And a lot of them are gone because I burned them. Um, I burned a lot of my poetry when I was in my early 20s. And that's that's when I kind of, went back to when I wrote this piece, so. Mm, okay, yeah. okay. So like, this, I this, love this, that. There's this girl I used to know, she was like, she was like this, and like, she just ins like inspired this piece, and it just popped in my head one day, I don't know why, so I had to write it. Dude, that was an awesome piece, bro. I relate to that. I've had, I had, a, in the last piece I posted called I Was Never Jesus, right? There's a line where I said, I was always the friend zone, and then I said, um, oh, how do I say it? I was just that friend, but I needed that real friend type of thing. That's what I said in my piece. But like, it just brought, it did bring me back to that time where I relate to that piece. So dude, thank you. Because I I have a hard time writing pieces like that. And the fact that you did it, in a, you said it in a way that it, it's, it, it, it's exactly what that is. Yeah. It's exactly what that is. Yeah, it's it's one of those things. It just like these things they pop in my head and it's like they just come out. I wrote it. It only takes like I only write every from like two to five minutes of every piece, and some of them are just like off the top. Like I don't even write them. I just do them freestyle. Like it freaks me out though because I can't do freestyle. Like I couldn't come on here and do freestyle because I get all inside my head. But right. Some, I'll just be sitting in my garage and I'll just start going off and ranting and I call it ranting, but it's just poetry freestyle. So. Right, right, right. Sometimes I record them. Sometimes I don't. No, bro, amazing. Thank you, thank you so much, man. Yeah, thanks for letting me come on here too. I appreciate it. And Mike, yo, you killed that shit. If you're still in here, that was <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah, I wanted for to come real. In and I was gonna come in and purposely butcher a piece just to fuck around. <laughs> yo, he just like, oh my god, dude, he's fucking dope. <laughs> and so much talent too. Like, and I ain't even just saying this, like, just to be, you know, he knows how I feel about him. Like. The, the the way he like he, he mixes in the beats with the rhymes and like that and takes other people's shit and you know and, and works with them like he worked with Tara on a piece and he they did they killed it on that. I know he did one with Aunt, uh John too. So Wow. Yeah, they uh he kills it with all these people and um and his own shit too, obviously. Yeah. So, wow. Yeah, Dude, so, like that, wow. let me come on. I'm gonna let some other people get in here, right? I know that yo brother, God bless you. Thank you so much, yeah, bro. Thank you doing these for the platform i love seeing all the platforms doing stuff and it's great for the community so yeah more no fun. doubt man i agree more i did plan on doing more of these soon so um again yeah. brother thank you for jumping in man god bless you man no doubt no doubt all right later man later bro all right oh my god that was crazy 
All right, so it's about that time to end this live. But I just want to say thank you so much, guys, for being a part of this magical experience with me. You know, so um, it will be on the story. The replay will be on the story. But this live will also be on the podcast as well. So it'll be in more than one platform. Have fun with it. So God bless you and have a good day. And until next time, peace. All right.